Hi, sign story here. Today I'm going to explain a fantasy film called The Man Without Gravity. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Story the movie starts as we see a woman named Natalia and her mother, Alina, drive through a storm to the hospital. The woman is in labor. In pain, she begs her mother to drive quickly. When they reach the hospital, a nurse at the reception informs them that no doctors are available at the moment. So, she herself helps the woman. Natalia finally gives birth but the baby doesn't cry. In fact, he floats in the air like he is lighter than it. The three are stunned, Natalia grabs the umbilical cord, and gently pulls him towards her. Natalia and her mother run away with the newly born, without providing their information to the nurse. Natalia is over the moon to birth such a special child, she assumes that her baby is an angel. At home, Natalia assumes that if he eats something, he will stop flying. Alina asks her who the father is, but it turns out that Natalia doesn't know, because she was a prostitute. Alina then declares that the child will not be allowed to leave his home, she wants to protect the baby from the cruel world outside. The following morning, Alina wakes up to the child sleeping on the ceiling. She carefully brings him down. The two name him Oscar. Just then, four friends of Alina arrive at their door to have a look at the newborn. Natalia ties the baby to a crib with a belt, and covers him with a blanket. The women do not suspect anything, one of them tries to pick Oscar up, but Alina doesn't let her, saying that the baby is fragile. The women then leave. The two then make the house's ceiling comfortable for the child, so he can sleep freely. Alina tells people that Oscar is allergic to the sun, so he cannot come outside. Cut to a few years later, Oscar has grown up into a beautiful child now. He is still not allowed to go outside the house by his grandmother. His everyday life includes looking at people through the window and watching Batman on TV. Alina also teaches him to read and write at home. One day, Natalia makes him a jacket with weights on its pockets. This makes Oscar able to walk on the ground. Natalia is happy, because now she can send her son to school. However, Alina is against him leaving the house for his own safety. Even when Natalia insists, Alina doesn't budge. One day, Oscar is alone in his house, when he opens the window and tries to get out of it. When Alina and Natalia come back, they are shocked to see the window open. Initially, they thought Oscar had run away from home, but apparently, Oscar's jacket had fallen off him and he was stuck in the ceiling. Not taking any chance further, Alina starts to shut the windows permanently, but Natalia has had enough, she wants her kid to go outside and look at the real world. She fights with her mother, and takes Oscar outside that night. While on their walk, she tells him to keep his power a secret, to keep himself safe from the bad guys. He limps while walking, as he hasn't walked that much in life. That day onwards, Natalia starts to take him out every day in his jacket. They walk hand in hand, Natalia even teaches him to walk better. One day, Natalia and Oscar are shopping, when she leaves Oscar outside a store. Story summary while he waits, he bumps into a little girl named Agata, and drops her groceries. The little girl is mad at him, and asks him to help her carry the groceries to her house. At first, Oscar hesitates, but then he agrees to help her carry bottles. The two walk away from the store. They talk about several different things on their way. After they walk for a while, Oscar is tired because of the weights in his pockets, so he throws them out. The weight of the bottles keeps him on the ground. But when they reach Agata's home, she asks him for the bottles. Knowing that he will fly away without them, Oscar refuses. The two tug the bottles and eventually drop them. Since the weights are gone, Oscar flies up, but thankfully is stopped by a roof. The little girl assumes that he is a superhero, and watches him in awe. She gives him her backpack so that he can stay on the ground, and promises to not tell anyone. Natalia is at home, worried to death about her son. 
Just then, he comes home running. He tells his mother about his new friend. When asked if she knows about Oscar's powers, he lies and says that she doesn't. From the following day, Agata and Oscar play together. She comes to Oscar's every day for playdates. One day, Agata's grandmother brings her over. As Natalia and she talk, Natalia realizes that Agata knows about Oscar's abilities, so she doesn't allow Oscar to play with her from the next day. Agata visits Oscar's house every day, but Natalia always makes up an excuse to send her away. One day, Agata brings her grandmother to Oscar's. Natalia dismisses them saying that Oscar has to do homework, but Agata reveals that Oscar doesn't go to school. The grandmother, along with other ladies in the town, calls the police to Natalia's house. They demand Natalia and Alina to admit Oscar to a school, the two agree. It is now Oscar's first day at school, Natalia takes him in, but realizes that the kids are supposed to keep their backpacks and overcoats outside. Saddened, she brings him back to the car, and they come back home. They finally decide to move to a remote town to avoid anyone checking on Oscar's condition. Cut to a few years later, Oscar is all grown up now. Alina had passed away. The mother and the son have moved to the mountains and live a normal life there. Oscar always has his backpack with him. One day, Oscar sees an advertisement on the TV about a talent show. The announcer urges everyone with a unique talent to audition for the show. He wants to take part in the show to showcase his talent, so he decides to leave the town without telling his mother. A few days later, Oscar is at the talent show where he shows everyone his flying abilities. Everyone is amazed. Some assume that Oscar is an angel. Oscar attracts the attention of a talent scout named David, who offers Oscar to be a celebrity. David tells him that he will be called to TV shows to showcase his talent. Oscar's biggest dream is to have a book written about him, and David promises to make that happen. Without hesitation, Oscar signs a contract with David. Then David gives him the title A Man Without Gravity as his stage name. After signing the contract, David gives him a luxurious house as a gift. He wants his mother to stay in the house as well, but David forbids it. The next day, Oscar starts performing on TV shows and appearing as a model in magazines. As he keeps flourishing, initially, he loves the fun city life, but gradually he starts feeling empty and bored. He starts gaining a lot of fans. To make Oscar even more famous, David deliberately creates false stories about Oscar. He even makes a museum about Oscar, where he displays random items as his belongings to profit off them. Later Oscar protests about the media spreading false information about him. He doesn't want to live his life like this anymore. He is bored of the celebrity's life, so he asks David to terminate the contract. But just then, David mentions a publisher wanting to meet David to write a book about him. Hearing this, he changes his mind, his dream of getting a book written about him is finally coming to life. He is beyond delighted. However, when he goes to meet the author and the publisher, he gets to know that they are just interested in selling as many books as possible for profit. They want to exaggerate his life story, painting him as extremely poor in his childhood and adding false stories. Hearing this, Oscar refuses to work with the publisher. The following day, David invites Oscar's mother over, because he knows Oscar misses her. She arrives to a party going on at Oscar's home. Natalia has brought motivational quotes Oscar used to collect back home. Natalia is delighted to see her son, but Oscar is visibly sad. The next day, Oscar makes a mistake while appearing on a live TV broadcast. David is furious at him. Oscar reveals that he doesn't want to be the man without gravity anymore. He asks David to fake his death so he can live a peaceful life. The news spreads like wildfire. Everyone talks about Oscar's death, journalists come to Oscar's house every day to try and interview his mother. Days pass, and Oscar has changed his identity to Dusky. He changes his appearance and pretends to be handicapped, 
so he can tie himself to a wheelchair when going outside. Dusky is now working as a receptionist, at a hotel famous for prostitutes. One Christmas Eve, every room is empty except for one. Dusky goes to check on the person in the room. He finds the new prostitute there, who tells him everything is fine. As he is about to leave, the woman calls Dusky by his real name, Oscar. Oscar is surprised. As it turns out that the woman is Agata. She has started working as a prostitute. They are very happy to finally meet again. The next day, they go on a date and talk about many things from their past. At night they come back to Oscar's room and have sex. They actually love each other, but Agatha still hesitates to accept Oscar's love because of her profession. They get into a huge fight about the situation and Oscar leaves. The next day, Oscar goes back to his old town to see that the place has been deserted. The museum they opened to display Oscar's belongings has been closed too. He goes inside his old house, and stays there for a while when suddenly someone knocks on the door. It is Agata dressed as her younger self. Seeing her like that, Oscar smiles. Cut to a few years later, Oscar and Agata are married and live in Oscar's childhood home. Agata is pregnant with their child. Oscar has started working as a window cleaner. The movie ends as we see Oscar dresses up as Batman, cleaning a skyscraper's window. He is living his childhood dream. Tro subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.